Technology and Livelihood Education. Industrial Arts for Grade 7. Quarter 4 Week 5 Part 1. Our topic is Classification of Tools. Carpentry and Masonry Tools. Review of the previous lesson. Classify the following. Is this digital tool or analog tool? The following are the content area vocabulary. Carpentry is the skilled trade of working with wood to create, repair, or install structures and fixtures. It involves tasks like framing, cabinetry, flooring, and joinery, using tools and techniques to shape and assemble wood materials into functional designs. Masonry the craft of building a structure with brick, stone, or similar material including mortar plastering, which is often laid in, bound, and pasted together by mortar. Plumbing is the system of pipes, fixtures, and fittings used to distribute water, gas, and waste in buildings. It involves installation, repair, and maintenance of water systems for residential or commercial properties. Shallow of little depth, cylindrical having straight parallel sides and a circular or oval cross-section in the shape or form of a cylinder. Synthetic. Made by chemical synthesis, especially to imitate a natural product. Can you guess what are the tools needed to repair this? How about for this one? The following are the carpentry tools. Carpentry tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for woodworking and construction tasks, primarily related to shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing wood materials. These tools are essential for carpenters and woodworkers to perform various tasks accurately and efficiently. Claw hammer. This tool is used to break an object, drive a nail or spike into another, or mold the desired shape of the material. Crosscut saw. They are used to cut across the grain of the wood. Rip saw. They are used to cut along the grain of the wood. Circular saw. A powered handheld tool is used to cut wood. Hand drills. Make holes in some wood crafts and are helpful in outdoor projects. Chisel. A cutting tool with sharpened edges at the end of metal blades or used for cutting or shaping wood. Measuring tape is a fundamental tool used for accurately measuring lengths, distances, and dimensions of various materials, primarily wood. Square It is a 90-degree standard right-angle tool sometimes called a tri or trying square, 90-degree angle, a miter square. 45 degree angle, a combined tri and miter square, combined square framing, or steel square. Plane. A hand plane is a tool utilized for shaping and refining wooden surfaces, and it can alternatively be operated as a powered tool. Wood lathe machine. Is a machine used in woodworking for shaping wood into various cylindrical forms, such as balusters. The following are the masonry tools. 
Masonry tools. Our instruments and equipment specifically designed for working with materials such as bricks, stones, concrete blocks, and mortar in construction and masonry projects. These tools are essential for cutting, shaping, laying, and finishing materials and maintaining and repairing masonry structures. Trowel. A handheld tool with a flat, pointed blade is used for spreading and shaping mortar and scooping and applying other masonry materials. Float, a hand tool used for smoothing and finishing freshly applied mortar or concrete. A hawk is a tool consisting of a flat, square board with a handle underneath. It holds a small quantity of mortar or plaster while working. Masonry hammer. Also known as a brick hammer has a chisel-shaped edge for splitting bricks and a flat face for striking or setting bricks and stones. Masonry saw. With a diamond-tipped blade for cutting bricks, blocks, or stones. Masonry drill. A drill bit specifically designed for drilling holes in masonry materials such as bricks, blocks, or concrete. Brick jointer. A handheld tool with a pointed or rounded edge shape and smoothing mortar joints between bricks or blocks. Cold chisel, a sharp edge for cutting bricks and shaping stone in masonry works. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.